Nailing English Grammar, Mastering Possessive Determiners. Hello, grammar enthusiasts. Today we're going to tackle an interesting part of English grammar. You guessed it right, we're focusing on possessive determiners. And more specifically, how we use possessive determiners to describe relationships. Remember, mastering these little grammar tricks can greatly enhance your English communication. So, let's dive in. Possessive determiners, also known as possessive adjectives, are words that show ownership or a relationship between two things. They include my, your, his, her, its, are, their. For example, in the sentence, this is my book, my, is a possessive determiner, showing that the book belongs to me. Possessive determiners aren't just about ownership of objects. They are often used to describe relationships between people and even pets. For instance, her brother, means the brother of the girl or woman we are talking about. Their dog, refers to the dog owned by the people we're discussing. Consider these examples. This is my friend, John. The friend is related to me. I'm going to visit our grandparents. The grandparents are related to us. Sarah is walking her dog. The dog is owned by Sarah. Using possessive determiners to describe relationships can also provide important context. For instance, this is my son's teacher. Here, the use of my sons helps us understand that the teacher being referred to teaches the speaker's son. Here are some more examples. Her husband is a doctor. The husband who is a doctor is related to the woman we're talking about. Their cousin has moved to Canada. The cousin who moved to Canada is related to the people we're discussing. Remember, possessive determiners always come before the noun. You can't say, book my. You have to say, my book. Also, possessive determiners are not followed by, of. So, it's not correct to say, a friend of my. Instead, you say, my friend. And that's it for today's lesson on using possessive determiners to describe relationships. Remember, these are more than just words to indicate ownership. They're a simple and effective way to describe relationships and provide context. Practice using them in your everyday conversations. Keep learning, keep practicing, and you'll see your English skills improving day by day. Catch you in the next lesson. Until then, happy learning.